I feel like I'm putting too much powder. <laughs> How am I going to save myself from this? channel my name is Adeja Ke oh and if you're new here hi welcome back to our channel welcome to my channel please don't forget to subscribe hit the subscribe button join the gang and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back welcome back yes yeah, so today I already have my brows done I'm doing like I'm just gonna show you my makeup routine my simple makeup routine and I'll be talking about some things so yeah let's get into it I want to talk about age actually want to talk about age I don't know why I actually want to cover this today, but I just feel like some things have just been happening. Okay, maybe because I'm done with school, and the question that they've been asking me the most is like, what next? No, like family, but just like random. Oh, what, 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 what are you doing next? What's up? What's up? And I feel like a lot of my mates are under so much pressure, like so much pressure. If you notice, if you're watching this video, you're done with school, and maybe you're looking for a job right now. Trust me, even if nobody's asking you, you start asking yourself, no matter how much you tell yourself, oh, I'm going to let go and just calm down. No matter how you tell yourself that, you would still be thinking about it. So before I continue talking, I will be using my foundation, this Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. Yeah, I'm still using this. This is not a makeup tutorial. So please, please dears. <laughs> so I'll just put it here. At this point these two points so yeah the question they'll be asking you the most is what next like what are you doing next for us <laughs> as if it's everybody's business your life is everybody's business once you're done with school in this part of the country your life is everybody's business they start asking you what are you doing are you applying for jobs sometimes I think it's actually coming from a very good place but I don't know I just feel like there are just some insensitive questions you should not be asking. I think what you should be doing is, if you have like, if you know somebody that knows someone, you should be trying to help the person get like a job, like secure something nice, instead of asking questions. Trust me, most people in Nigeria, like my age mates, don't have, like they have no idea of what they will do next. So I don't understand what, the, what next question is supposed to do. Most of us do not have any single connection. This includes me. The only person we have is God. So now they're asking what next? What have you done? Like, who you help? <laughs> what next? What have you done? Another thing that is really annoying me now is, I don't know, I feel like age is being attached to a lot of things in this part of the country, which I find it very, very weird. Because now, I can't even imagine that my mates are asking me, oh, so because we're supposed to be getting married now. Like, who's getting married now? <laughs> Honestly, like, why are you even asking such questions? We just finished from school. We don't want to NYC. Let me say you won't do NYC here. Hey? Take your time, my sister. Take your time, my brother. Don't start thinking, oh, what next? Sometimes I just feel like you should breathe. Like, right now, I'm breathing. I'm actually breathing, of course. I cannot work myself. I've been applying. Like, everybody should be applying. And if you're not applying yet, I think you should actually just calm down. Because everybody has their own time. I'm not saying you should be, I'm not saying that she should. I don't just need to pull my clothes. Please. Okay. Yeah, I'm not saying you should be lazy or that you should just sleep and wake up. But I feel like you should take everything one step at a time. One step at a time. I know we all have dreams, you know. Want to travel the world. <laughs> you want to travel the world. You want to do like everything in this world possible at a very young age you know people even sell these things like oh i want to get married now so that i don't start stressing myself you know be giving birth later i want to get married now start giving birth i give it to my children i feel like this is the biggest camp ever but anything that works for you one thing is pressure i feel like nobody should put you under any form of pressure to do anything like at this point of our lives i feel like you should be doing what makes you happy the most like Anything you're thinking of doing right now should be what makes you happy. If it's not contributing to your happiness, cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Honestly, just honestly cut it. Or just put it away. Or just fling it into the bush or something. Throw it somewhere. Just throw it away. Throw it away. Yeah, this thing is really soft so I had to soak it in water for like some minutes before I squeeze it out. So it just makes blending very easy. And yes, my everyday makeup look is just... I don't apply too much foundation 
I don't apply and I didn't apply foundation here because I'm going to be using my concealer around this area and they're almost the same shades. Yeah. So yeah, the shade of my foundation is Espresso 380. Espresso 380. So as I was saying, I don't think anyone should put you under so much pressure to do anything like oh I think you should start applying for jobs now. If you don't want to apply for jobs now, don't apply. Because you you'll be under so much pressure to just do anything and one thing i realize is when you're doing something that you do not enjoy no matter what you start getting frustrated like the frustration has no bounds the frustration is just top notch i think the frustration <laughs> you'll not be able to explain it but you just be feeling very empty i felt that way before i'm not even going to lie I'm not going to lie. I felt that way at different points of my life, and that's because I realized I'm putting myself under so much pressure. Maybe because oh, I'm, I feel like I'm supposed to be doing something, and I'm not doing it. Next thing, I'm feeling like the world is running. Meanwhile, nobody's running anywhere. Anything, everything is waiting. Honestly, yes, time waits for no man. They always say that thing. Oh, yes, there's no time. But my sister, if time is not waiting for you, you kill yourself. You kill yourself. That's the end, though. <laughs> Honestly, that's actually the end of everything. So I'm just. My advice is, people under my age. I don't like saying my age because I I don't like the age thing because I don't know. It's not saying I'm hiding my age. Obviously, I'm not. But I don't really like saying all the. I don't like adding age to anything I'm doing. So if I'm able to achieve something at a particular age, I won't be saying, oh, I'm this particular age and I'm achieving this. I don't know, I realize that people do it a lot. Maybe they're not doing this intentionally, but so much somehow I feel that it is not helping people that are trying to navigate their way through life. It's like, oh, maybe this particular age, somebody of this particular age is doing this thing and you're not doing it. You start feeling bad and I don't know, now I just feel like I don't like adding age. If I'm asking for age of this, I would say, okay, yes, this is how old I, I am. I'm even old. <laughs> but, but yeah, I don't know. There's this thing I usually see on Twitter. For example, now if a child, let me say somebody in primary school, if person is nine, and the person will, wins like a cowbell competition, I start saying things like, oh, first nine year old in Nigeria. To win the cowbell competition, now while I would just happen with fellow nine year olds, you see, the African parents have started. Uh -huh. You just see their father will get home that day, call their child. Maybe the child has been failing. Maybe the child doesn't even like mass to start with, but you know, African parents, you must like mass. It is by force. They call the child and start putting pressure on the child. Oh, see your mate. See your mate. And that's how it starts. Unnecessary pressure. Unnecessary. I say, when you mean, when somebody says unnecessary pressure, pressure that, I don't know, I'm not saying there's anything like necessary pressure, but there are just some of these things that you should not even bother saying. I remember when I was younger, you remember, I don't know if you guys know Destiny Kids, like all those children that used to sing, all those videos, all those children, it was cool now, all those children. I remember some people in my church started putting pressure on their children. Small children know that it's not your mates. I'm glad my parents didn't even do that rubbish. That's not your mates that is doing this. It's not your mates that is doing that. It's not your... Ugh. Brah. Brah. Yeah, so I use my concealer here. I use the Nuban Beauty Concealer in shade 49, 049. Nuban Beauty 049. Yeah, so. And they start putting pressure on their children to start singing. Your child doesn't even have talent to sing, but now you're putting pressure because, oh, it's not a fellow nine year old that is doing this thing. Personally, I feel like age should not be added to anything. If you're 45 and you're not married and you're happy where you are, good luck to you, my sister, good luck to you, my brother. I'm serious, like, in this world, I feel like this world is hard enough for you to start putting pressure on yourself or you start thinking that you have to move on the same level with other people or oh, because this person is doing this thing this way i have to do it this way too i feel like you will just die honestly oh my you just die <laughs> you just die for nothing if you think you're going to be going through life in that manner that oh 
because this person is um, doing this. And my reason for not putting foundation here, just putting in concealer is that I don't like the very cakey feeling it gives me. I don't like the too many layers. And yes, Faith was really taught to me. Thank you for watching this video. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. Yes, I don't apply too much. Just small, small. I already put um, concealer here. It's not, it's not a tutorial. It's just if you want to do it this way. That I'm telling you though. <laughs> So yeah, they just put unnecessary pressure on people to do things. And you know what I realized too? I don't know. Everybody on Twitter has money and everybody has a job. But <laughs> I realized that there are so many people that are jobless in this world. In Nigeria. So many people. Some people that actually find it very, very difficult in getting a job and i don't know i feel like people are gauging achievements with doing it early achieving things late is not bad i know it's sad honestly because you know everybody wants to do things early nobody wants setbacks nobody wants to get to university at the age of 25. nobody wants to graduate at 50. obviously i know that i know that but there are people no matter how much you try to no matter how much you try to say these things, there are people that that do these things late and there is nothing we can do about it. That is just how life is. Life is very, very somehow. I won't say it's unfair, but it's really somehow. So yeah, we use the S Bond powder to set my face. S Bond, yeah. This is to set my face. Yeah, and I don't use special colors for contour. Like, I don't use extra dark shades. I still use my foundation to contour my face. I'll show you how I do it. Now. So, yeah, I don't know why people actually just add age to everything. I find it very, very disturbing. So, yeah, if you're... This video is for people that are, that are thinking this way. You feel that you are too late. You feel that everybody's getting a job. You know, everybody on Twitter <laughs> is trying to job. What I use for my... Um, this thing, I have this broken brush. Lazy, I must say. So, my advice is that you should just take things one step at a time and deeply think about things you love and do it. Because hmm, if you don't, you'll be sad. You can almost kill yourself and guess what? You will just die. I think you will just die for nothing. I feel like I put so much powder. Ooh. How am I going to save myself from this? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh yes. I need to tell you guys about somebody I met at the airport. I'm not gonna tell you why I was at I was at the airport over the night, obviously. Not today. That was a long that's a long story. But anyways, I met this lady at the airport. Very nice, so cute, hot fine woman. So we're talking. And she told me that she's almost 40. Ooh, I didn't believe it. I was like, wow. Yeah, and she's not married. <laughs> Since she's living her life. And let me tell you one thing I really admired about her when she was talking to me. She seemed really happy. Obviously, not everybody's completely happy in this world. Not everybody's. Like, you can, this world is somehow, you can never be 100% happy. I don't think that's possible. I don't think anybody can be 100% happy in this world. I don't think so. But if you are, please come and show me how. But anyways, I met this lady very nice so we got talking okay i think there was a man that was annoying us so we were talking about different things because we really stayed at the airport for so long so yeah she she's almost 40. she didn't tell me at the exact age she said she's almost 40. so we we're just talking you know just talking about life experiences she's very open to meeting people in fact she has met different people but life just is just life life is just life so she's not married and but one thing I really liked about her is that she's doing what she loves. She studied law in the university. She went to the Nigerian law school. But right now she's like a script writer, you know. She's doing what she loves. And that's I feel like that is the most important part of life that nobody should miss. Whatever you're doing, do what you love. I know money is very important, obviously. If you're not doing what you love and you're not making if you're doing what you love and you're not making money. You might actually be frustrated, let's never lie, because money moves everything, if we are not lying. But now, if you're lucky enough, or if you're able to... Wait, 10 days only. You know this feeling when you're doing your makeup and you start looking for your brushes? 
everything just starts going missing. That's the point I'm trying now. So one minute. So I found it. <laughs> so I want to control like my nose. So I'm using my foundation to do that. So yeah, if you don't have money and you're doing what you love, let's not lie. You might still be frustrated. Let's not lie. But now frustration has different degrees. Now the frustration is not going to be money frustration. I'm using this brush. I'll just take it towards my nose. Money frustration is a very, very big frustration because the idea of thinking how will I feel my bills. For example, now you're doing YouTube and you have money like me now. <laughs> Sometimes I'll go to a restaurant and I'm thinking, oh, where will I get money from? And these are really, really expensive. This life is actually very, very expensive. Personally, I feel like Nigeria is expensive for Nigerians. The people enjoy Nigeria now, apart from the people who say God went for are white people that come to the country. I was out one time and I was seeing this white people enjoying every single thing that was supposed to be enjoying. We're enjoying it for free. Okay, not for free, they're paying, but you get what I mean. Those things mean nothing to them because of their, they are bringing their dollars to my spending. We, we are earning in Naira, but because I don't want to be earning in Naira again. But, anyways. <laughs> There are any narrow of spending it here that it's so expensive. Yep. So this is it. It's so expensive and it's hard. Really hard. So now I'm doing what I know, but I can't really afford to do it if I'm keeping it real with you guys because it's expensive youtube is expensive honestly it is i don't know why people actually do not talk about the expensive people just tell you oh you can just start youtube start with whatever you have which hotel <laughs> oh god <laughs> yeah so that's about my nose so i'll just show you what i do with my eyes i'll just show you what i do with my eyes i for my simple look i just apply brown all over my eye yeah, I just do like just very simple nothing nothing serious looking for my brush again so I know I'm supposed to look for my brush before now but I'm just looking for it sorry so I'm just going to do I'm using this naked palette it's quite old it's really really old I'm not going to say that so is that a goat? <laughs> I'm just going to take brown like the brown shade and use that all over my eyes all over my eyes I swear it's a good. I swear it's a good. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> yeah, that's about age and pressure. So please, if you're putting yourself under so much pressure as to what you're supposed to do, I know life is hard. Just keep going. Be prayerful. If you're a Christian, pray. If you're Muslim, pray. If you don't believe in anything. Say something to yourself. I don't know. Encourage us. If you don't believe in anything, say words of motivate yourself. Be reading, be reading motivational quotes, read motivational books if you believe in that. I don't know. I don't force you to believe in God if you don't. <laughs> yes. But it should be nice. You can give your life to Christ and start believing in God. I'm not saying if you believe in God immediately, it will be like magical. I don't know. It really depends. I don't know. Honestly, let's not talk about God today. <laughs> but yeah. Manifesting things actually work. Say positive things to yourself, you know. Yes, you get this job when you apply for things. Say good things. Say good things to yourself. Say yes, I know I'll get this thing in Jesus' name. Or whatever name you believe. So yeah. I just applied brown as I'm sure you don't you don't see the difference, but somehow I always see the difference because it's my eyes and I put it myself. So I'm just gonna be brushing out the powder. <sighs> To be honest, I'm not going anywhere. I think I want to film another video. So, I did this. <laughs> I told you that this powder I put here is too much. I'm gonna be Snow White. I thought for brush it out before I use powder, so. Mm, not looking bad, to be honest.
yeah i brushed it up i'm not so comfortable with it yet so i'll just use tara powder and it's the brown tara powder this is shade amira office why does it brown tara powder does tara have white powder it's just thickness i am <laughs> don't put so much pressure on yourself you can do this we've got this on behalf of my fellow jobless people we've got this We've got this. Yes, I'm using lashes. For every day, look, I don't wear lashes. Yes, I don't wear lashes every day, obviously. <laughs> I don't know, some people wear lashes every day. Some, but I like, I've been seeing some lashes on Instagram, you know, in store. Very fine, but I don't think I want to do it. Because I will scratch my eyes. Everything will fall off. Everything will fall off. So, I ran not do it. Although, I like it, though, it's pretty. If you can do that, then that's fine. But it will be better if you can do that and do your brows too. So you know, even when you just apply makeup, it won't take so much time. Guess what? I didn't even use palm on my face. I only moisturize my face, yes. I moisturize my face with this Nivea Perfect Reveal thing. Oh, I don't know, the light is too much. I'll try and put a picture if I can. But yeah, I just got it yesterday. And it's very, very tiny. And I feel like it costs too much. It costs 2550 Why? It has SPF. That's what I want to do. I see it. screen. Is that no SPF? SPF 15, yeah. I've not lined my eyes, so I think I'm going to line my eyes and I'll come back. Yeah, I'm done lining my eyes and I've applied powder. I'm not really liking the powder thing I did, but it happens. <laughs> so yeah, I'll just go ahead to use my bronzer. This is Nuban Beauty De Glow in Vada. These things are not showing well. My light is directly on me, so forgive me. I'll just try and attach pictures of these things if I can. I probably find them and I don't forget. So yeah, my advice to people that ask insensitive questions because we need to put them in this video too because she won't cause any trouble oh look at that oh girl <laughs> my advice is that you should stop you stop let people breathe stop asking people when they will give birth stop asking people when they will get married you're talking like a line help me <laughs> you're looking like a line Stop asking people when they'll get married. Stop asking people when they would give birth. Stop asking people when they would start working. You don't even know how much those people have been trying to apply for these things and they're not getting it. They're not even being helpful. Stop asking questions. Start helping them out. Start helping them, you know, start send them links for jobs, you know. Then for the marriage part, please, never ask anybody when they will get married. Give them money. When they will marry, they will marry. When they will marry, they will marry. Leave your children alone. Stop putting your children under so much pressure. Stop it. Stop. I feel like I added so much from, um, bronzer here. And I didn't add so much here. Mine are so dark. Mm. I like it though. <laughs> this is one of the weirdest makeup I've done. I think because I'm doing in front of a camera and this is my first time to be honest. My first time, there's the first time for everything. I hope I enjoy watching this video first because I watch it when before when I'm editing. I hope I enjoy it. So I think I'm done talking. I really don't really like putting bugs on my nose. My nose. I'm not going to put too much. It's not going to train. This is that. It's not train. Hmm. This bronzer is going to blind my enemies. So I'm not going to line my lips. I need the same pencil like for my brows, for my lips. I'm not doing anything serious. I'm just going to line my lips and use lip gloss.
ये सफलेंट मैं जी समझ गया चीज़ लिप लॉस इस भी एट नाइट ओके भी एट आई एम सॉरी इस लिप लॉस मैंने फ्राई आम शा बहुत ये आई फील लाइक द लाइट इज़ टू मच सो यू बी सीन दिस फॉर चाइ लिप लॉस इस लिचुए Don't turn it on, baby. I'll be right back. I'm finally done with my makeup, and this is the final look. This is my everyday look, everyday makeup look. Like if I'm supposed to do makeup and just go out, this is how it will look like. Yeah, I think it's very simple. I think it took my time because I was talking to you guys. So yeah, this is. I think I feel like wigs just change everything. Look at that. I went from two. <laughs> yeah. So this is it. Yeah, I really like it. I like it. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going anywhere. I think I'm going to just shoot another video with this look. What do you think? Yes. So thank you for watching this video to the end. And yes, don't forget. Don't bully people. Don't ask insensitive questions. Don't, you know, be a shitty person. Shitty person. <laughs> yeah, don't be a shitty person. Don't be mean to people. Say nice things. Help people. Be nice. Stop asking people for their age. Do things regardless. Help people. Be nice to your neighbors. Yes, I'll see you in my next one. Yes, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Yes, engage with my content. Liking videos actually helps channels grow. So don't forget to like. Don't forget to drop a comment. Please talk to me in the comment section, darlings. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.